Hey guys, it's Kelly here. Welcome back to another video. Apologies, it's taking a little longer, but here we are. So as you can see, this is definitely something different from what you've seen previously, because we are on to little nightmares. I absolutely adore this game. I love everything about it wish I knew what the story was apart from obviously my own ideas but still it takes nothing away from the actual game itself so as you can see on the screen usual process inks first on this one I used I believe PH Martin's Golden Yellow Terracotta and Serpia and then Winston Newton's black indian ink but obviously there and then my usual prima marketing watercolors i think i use every single pan in this one obviously description and i have all of the info of what i used and as you can probably tell as well it's a somewhat bigger picture it's not a tiny little square which added to the fact of why it took so long but I'm using Archer's Hot Pressed paper on this one, 15 by 30. And you can probably see from this that only a portion of it is done. And there's a big empty gap at the bottom and I just I didn't know what to put into it. I do figure it out, you'll see later. And I absolutely know what I did. I think it was one of the first times I did something freehand and it came out exactly as I imagined it the one thing I will say is that it, it did take me a while to figure out the ladies robes I just couldn't get what color I wanted whether I wanted it to be brown or more orange or more red it was a difficult one especially because obviously with every time you see her she always looks like she's just in one color and Obviously, I didn't want one colour because it's boring. So I go over it a few times. I try and add in different colours, try and get different variation. But I think at this point it was just a case of okay, the shadows are here, it's light over here. We kind of just went with that first. And oh, this bit absolutely breaks my heart watch they oh I can't believe I dropped the paintbrush on that one and especially on a part that's meant to be white it hurt just a little bit obviously if you follow me on any of my social on Instagram I've been posting little tidbits and updates and stories of this and reliving that through editing was painful to say the least and here as you can see the bit i mentioned earlier i decided to do them all and um, what else could i do it's where this particular first game is set so i decided to do it freehand i forwent pre-planning and making sure the details are perfect and just went for it now for the hair I didn't want to use watercolour because watercolour and black always it's either too dark it's either too transparent or it turns out grey so I just went straight in with the gouache and just made black black essentially especially obviously with the mask being white it would create such a good contrast and the same with six as well because she's in a bright yellow it creates that contrast which is exactly what i wanted for a long time i didn't like six's face but as soon as i added that black in it just kind of made it pop and it was like you know what actually her face is actually grown quite well tap on the back of me and there we go white gosh out hide, hide that Horrible mistake that I made. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> but 
accidents happen, even to the best of us. We just have to push through it. And I'm just sorting out a little bit of the fanciness. And the pencils, I will always go back to my pencils. It will always add something that I just cannot do with a paintbrush. And for anybody, I recommend just using mixed media. Go so far as you can with one. If you feel like you can't create the details or the contrast or the shading that you want, get yourself some pencils and just use that. It doesn't take anything away from it. It just gives it that bit more depth. With the pencils, like on her robes, I can add that grainy texture. It just makes everything just kind of gel together, I suppose. And the amount of detail that you can pick out, the lighting and the shadows. And you can blend them. It makes it look a lot smoother. And just add a few waves. Never really did waves, never really done water. So, kind of just went on a limb with just doing little like chevrons to create like a stormy wave. And I had no choice but to add the boat with a really tiny people walking onto the moor. I mean, if you have not played the game or seen anybody play the game, then I, I highly recommend you check it out. Especially if you're into more of the uh, darker, stranger, what the hell is this story all about kind of thing. Now, I didn't want to draw a design on these parts and mess it up. And the same with the background, I knew if I drew a design, it was going to be long, it was going to be tedious. It was probably going to add about another two weeks before I finished it, so I found some washi tape. And I took the washi tape route. And I really liked it. I have never really used washi tape for any sort of background before. But it worked. And it just added that last detail that I think it was missing for a little while. But it was never on the cards to use this, so again, very happy that I did. And originally, I was meant to have been doing this on wood, but it didn't work. It fell through. I don't know what happened, but the paint just started cracking, and I prepped everything as on wood. So it became a first idea, so out came the watercolours and the archer's paper. Maybe one day I may go back to it, figure out what went wrong. And obviously, as I said before, you follow me on my Instagram, you'd seen little bits of posts of things that I've been doing with this in the run up to this video. But also other things as well, so there was... I just built what was called book plates and they're amazing. Check my check my Instagram, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. And there we are. Finally complete. It took about four weeks and I again apologize, but there it is. So like, subscribe, share, you know all the things, you know what to do. Thank you all for sticking through to the end. Bye!